Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on, folks? It's your Yankee Hardcore Pipe Bomb Messiah here with you, of course, the third video of the day here. And, um, <sighs> what a night for the Boston Bruins. Beat the Florida Panthers 5 to 1. Y'all know what happened tonight. We did the live stream, y'all. And, uh... <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Um, But in all seriousness, um, you look at the statistics in this game tonight. Uh, Florida Panthers, they did dominate with the shots on goal. 39-29. to 29. They won most of their faceoffs tonight. 58.7 to 41.3%. Uh, there were no power play goals, but uh, Florida had the most penalty minute. Well, they had um, the majority of the penalty minutes in a, in their advantage because Boston um, got hit with a few penalties. But man, the Bruins were great tonight with the power kill. Uh, they dominated in hits, by the way, the Bruins. 69 to 54, 27 block shots. As well, so um, all I could say, man, oh, this was a great, great series here tonight. I mean, this was an absolute team effort. Um, and the way that I have to say this about the Bruins tonight, they brought in the game seven vibes and they brought that urgency with them in. Let me just talk about Jeremy Swayman. He was a beast tonight. Uh, lights out. Um, he had his fifth straight stop. Um, had a monster save in the first minute of the game. You can check out the um, the live stream tonight. Uh, he was like tiled in. Um, and you had that uh, Jeremy Swayman smirk. And this was during the pile up in the third period. with The one that I was talking about where Boston was protecting the crease and all, um, he has that if factor. I mean, 38 saves tonight. This dude um, was locked and loaded. Of course, you know, the secondary scoring um, they were looking for in the series. They needed to find that secondary scoring tonight. Um, I mean, if you look at it... Um, there's a couple of pointers that I want to put into this game here, too. Um, and, of course, you had uh, Derek Forber and Patrick Brown as well in the lineup to start the series. Um, as well, um, I believe um, from what I'm looking here in the stats, um, he did have a penalty. I know Patrick Brown tonight. And he played eight minutes and twenty seven minute, uh, eight minutes and twenty seven seconds on the ice. Um, Derek Forbert, uh, first game action since March the second. He had two surgeries. Um, he wasn't even supposed to be on the postseason roster, but I thought he played uh, very well. And I think what we're gonna see here in this series. Um, I think you're going to put Patrick Brown. Um, I would say Patrick Brown will play in game two. David Posnick tonight, man. Um, this was his best game of the postseason. Had a couple of breakaways. He couldn't get a goal in. But I really thought he looked well tonight as well. I did like Zocker's game as well. Two assists for him. Um, Brandon Collow, by the way, got a goal in this game. And... A little bit of a fun fact. Um, his wife actually welcomed the baby boy today. So, you know, you get that goal in. You give the Bruins a 3-1 to lead on the day that your son is born. That is just a great feeling. And, you know, congratulations to Brandon Carlo as well. Mason Lowell. Whew. First goal of his career. Congratulations to him. Um, I already mentioned the power kill for the Bruins. Not to mention, you know, Justin Brazov. 
first career postseason goal as well. I mean, on the breakaway, he has been so effective in these last two games. And then something that we saw in the commentary tonight, um, Jim Montgomery, and I mentioned it as well, calling a timeout with 13 minutes and 12 seconds left in the third period. And that was a great moment because what did we see in that game? And I was saying this on the live stream tonight. Uh, Florida, they were pushing. And they actually were dominating shots on goal. Um, if I remember at one point, they had the 11-1 to shot on goal advantage in the third period. And that's when Swayman made a flurry of saves. So you do the timeout, and then what happens? You get awarded. So this is like... A thing that I said last year when it came to the playoffs. You play stupid um you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Well, Jim Montgomery did not play a stupid game there. He actually played a strategic game and he won a prize out of that with the two goals. So um boy oh boy. Um All I can say is with this Bruins tonight, man, um they get, well, they take away Florida's home ice advantage. And that's the recipe that you're looking for. And hopefully, you do the same thing on Wednesday night. Now, I'm sure Florida's going to be coming in with a lot of, they're going to come in with a different strategy. They're going to come in. They're going to try to be the beast that they were in the first round. But let's see what happens. I mean, what I saw in this game tonight was similar to what Boston did to um Toronto in game one of that series as well. So um by the way guys uh your thoughts on the game comment down below and of course um tomorrow night like I said be doing the live stream of the Cleveland Cavaliers against the Boston Celtics so please join me for that and of course we will be talking about that game as well. So until then it's your Yankee Hardcore Pipe Bomb Messiah. I'm out guys have a good night peace and go Bruins